everyone. Welcome to Toy Break episode 322. No, 323. I almost went 322. We almost went back in time. We're going back in time. Oh, wait, that's copyright. Let's start uh, this. Hi, I'm Aileen. <laughs> I'm George. <laughs> and I'm married Ben. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Ben. Thank and you. And congratulations, Victoria. Yay. Yay. It was beautiful. You're beautiful people. Thank you. But back to work. Toy Break time. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, in case you're wondering, Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews about married Ben's, designer plush, action figures, collectibles, events, how-tos, whatever we can bring you in the wonderful world of Ben. Just kidding. Wonderful world of toys. <laughs> is, that, is that signing? I don't know. Let's start no. by thanking our <laughs> you what not. site sponsors like DKE Toys. 3D Retro. Happy Panda Toys. Tomonosuke. And Suburban Vinyl. Thank you so much to all of our site sponsors. They help keep the lights rolling and the tapes going and all those good things. So go to toybreak.com and check out their wares. Where? George. Who? You. you. Me? George. Me? <laughs> you. Hell Gladiator Contest. <laughs> this is the three inch custom JPK Dunny by Blazon Brickhouse. Blazonbrickhouse.com. And it could be yours by liking Toy Break and Blazin' Brick House on Facebook and then tag a post or something with some, some information. Just post about... on the Toy Break page <laughs> and tag Blazin' Brick House. Do something. If you can. There you go. Or just post on there something about Blazin' Brick House. Aileen will find it. She said she will. I see stuff. Deadline is September 17th, so that's coming right up. Mm. Do it. We also have some donations to thank for. Let's hear it. We would like to thank Joseph from North Dakota, Richard from the UK, Garrett from Texas, Jay from Idaho, Go Edgar Idaho. from California, Stephen from New Hampshire, Car uh, Carson from Missouri, and Ben? Kostya. From? The Ukraine. What? Thank you so much to all of our donations. I can't believe we have a Ukrainian yeah. donation. That's amazing. Ukraina. Are you going to say hi next time you go visit? Sure. You'll meet up, have some yeah. coffee. Do you, you have coffee in the Is it, how do you, you say do? it? Kostya? Kostya. Kostya. Is that a male or female name? Kostya usually is a male. Okay. Yeah. Kostya. Which is which is funny Kostya. because Kostya converted into English means bone. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah it does, Kostya. <laughs> Kostya. Kostya. That's why it's male. I don't know how to say it. Americans. <laughs> oh, Americans. Kostya. <laughs> wow. I was like, it would do these sound Russian? No. Maybe <laughs> drunk Russian man. I don't know. It's like very angry there. Bone from Ukraine. Bone. Like a New York Russian. All right. So we also should say hi and thanks to some of the fans we ran into the other day. Yeah. We saw a bunch of people at Disneyland. That was awesome. Ooh. Hi. Whose names we don't all remember thank because we don't remember things ever. Yeah. But thank you so much for saying <laughs> hi. It was super cool and totally caught us off guard. Yeah. Very cool. So, we appreciate it, though. So if you awesome. see us at Disneyland, say hi. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the Chalk Walk coming up. Ooh. Oh, we do. We do. It's the Children's Hospital of Orange County. We, uh, George and I, and the Tollisons. And uh, are you guys going to do it? We're going. We're <gasps> in. You, have to, you have to sign up. We're in. We'll we, already, we already told the Tollisons that we're in. Okay. Yes. You have to raise 50 bucks. You know that, right? Easy. Get your, get your brother to donate to you. Get your brother. Three, 3D Retro is donating it. Nice. Oh, nice. Can they donate the rest of mine, too? How much you got? Uh, I think I need 40 more still right now. Done. Let's do it. Fantastic. But if you feel like donating for any reason, uh, we're going to go do the walk. All the money goes to the Children's Hospital of Orange County. It's a great organization. Uh, not only have they helped several families I've known throughout my life in Southern California, uh, right now uh, they're helping one of our dear little friends. And... Aileen will post the link for her page mm -hmm. if you want to donate to hers right it now. It is in the show, the Toy Break show notes. I reached my goal already because I sent it out before Aileen. Ooh, snuck it out there. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> All right, so Ben. Yes? We have a voicemail for you. Is you it did. from Bone? I'm <laughs> fairly certain it's from Pablo. Oh, okay. Let's find out. Okay. Hey, this is a question for uh, Ben. I love that movie, uh, Back to the Future. You seem to love it like a lot more than a lot of people. Um, just curious, why do you like the movie so much? It is a great movie, but what, what are your specific reasons to like collect everything you can and commission and build a whole room for it? You must, I don't know, I'm, I'm intrigued. Thanks a lot, guys. Fun question. This is very similar to another voicemail we got. I'm going to say that has nothing to do with toys. Moving on. 
<laughs> what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but there was wasn't there like another there was another voicemail that kind of came in the same like that was like, "Hey, why are you so like why that movie?" And I think somebody else did ask that. Yeah. It wasn't this voicemail, right? No, I don't no. think it was this one. Somebody else um, asked it with other questions. Yeah. Uh, generally the same thing, but um you know, same answer. I like Back to the Future because it has a great story. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got great characters. It's I'm very much intrigued anyway by anything that's time travel related. Just one of my quirks, I guess. So having that great movie uh, story built in with the whole time travel thing and the great characters just kind of like did it for me. It was like the perfect combo. It also came out, for me at least, I think... Uh, because I was quite a fan growing up myself, it came out at the perfect time that it, like, and we're the same oh, age, yeah. so it, like, came out at that time where it really impacted you, like, yes. wow, it, it speaks to me on a kid level, but it's yeah. sci-fi, and, like, you just love the characters, yeah. and Christopher Lloyd, just hilarious. Yeah, and first time I saw it, I must have been, like, six, and I was like, it just, I just remember it just stuck with me. The worst part, though, was watching it at six, and then at the very end, it goes, to be continued, and I'm like, I think I remember, like, my brother rented it, and I turned to my brother, and I go, like, what does that mean to be continued? Can we finish the movie? And he's like, sorry, man. It's not out yet. It's like, sorry, man. Can't, can't watch it. And I had to, I think I had to wait till I was like 10 or 11 for part two. That's so cute, Ben. It was really, it was like, that's it. He wanted to watch it right then. I wanted to. I think and I, I, think I can kind of speak onto the whole like customs and commissions and stuff because there isn't a whole lot of merchandise. No. Yeah. So like you weren't, it's not like Star Wars where someone could have been a fan and bought all the toys. There weren't really a lot of toys ever really made for Back Mm -hmm. to the Future. So not the only real way to collect things was to get commissions and things like that. And only now, stuff is about to come out. 30 years later. Finally. Stuff is coming out. And I love the reaction, you know, idea. The figures look terrible. Look terrible. I'm sorry, guys. They just, I get what you're trying to do, but it's, it's like, they look freaking awful. They look awful. But you have the, uh... Is but it I bought the them all. I bought out? them all. But the hot toys, oh my god. Did Are you, you pre-order your DeLorean? an entire room dedicated just to the, what is it, quarter scale DeLorean? What scale is it? One, I think it's, it's one twelve. sixth. One twelve? One twelfth or one or sixth? One sixth. One sixth. One sixth. It's one sixth. So then you'll just have that on a turntable in the middle of the room. It's turning. Amazing. But you saw the release Diamonds. date is March 2015 or 16? Oh, I didn't really? See the date. Yeah, I think it's March 2016. Well, they need time to make it. It's a big car. Good things are worth waiting for. All right, let's move on. All right. Let's move on indeed to news. <laughs> Haven't had news in a little while. I know. Let's hear some. What's in the news? Well, first up, Darth Kelimer. Kelimer. I know Kelimer. By Good Junk Toys, it's a handmade carded resin figure, limited edition of 20 pieces. It will be releasing at noon Pacific Standard Time on Friday, September 12th. $100 each at goodforyoutoys.storeenvy.com. And it is amazing. Yeah, I saw this figure in person the other day, and uh, it's pretty spectacular. Do you know what we're talking about? Yeah, I do, and I kind of need to get one. I just I need to get one. So Dove Kelimer... Uh, a giant among men. Never heard of him. Never. <laughs> he runs DKE Toys, who is basically the biggest independent toy distributor, I'm pretty sure, in the world. Yep. And he distributes all of the designer vinyl type stuff and all sorts of other toys. And he's an amazing guy. And he and his wife, Sarah Jo, ah, toy girls, uh, they did so, they've done so many things for the community. And they did the, the Vader project and just incredible people. Oh, yeah. And for his birthday, they made him this... So he deserves Custom to have figure. an action figure. But the he coolest does. part is his action figure comes with an action figure. It's tiny. It's amazing. And if you're watching this Toy Break when it comes out, stay tuned to youtube.com slash toy break for a Toy Girls sneak peek. Whoa. Nice. What? And nice. then it releases this Friday, right? It does. Yeah. So one. if you watch this as it comes out, keep an eye on Friday. And keep Good 100 bucks. Good to you Yeah. Get it. How about Monster Loons? Is that right? Yeah. Sure. By Nervous Wreck and his son, Gavin. Hmm. Hmm. Hollow Hmm. hand sculpted five to six inch balloon figures on metal string with a wire hanging loop on top. Limited edition of six will be available at suburbanvinyl.com on Thursday, September 11th at 3 p.m. Again, if you're watching now, soon. And that's Eastern Standard Time. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Because suburban vinyl is in the east. They are. Coast. But they may not know that. Well, they should because they're a sponsor. They, they should have should. been clicking on their store and looking at things. But now that they, they know that, click, maybe click. that's good information for them. Let's do it. How about Masters of the Universe Giants subscription? This is by Mattel. Subs for the four new 12-inch Masters of the Universe figures will be open on MaddieCollector.com from September 10th through the 25th. Subscription includes giant versions of He-Man, Skeletor, Stratos, 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 and Beast Man. So, if you want some giant 12-inch Masters figures, now, now is the time to get them. Are you going to get them though? Yeah, of course we'll get them. We'll show them when we get them. All right. Go get them. We'll wait. <laughs> All right, also happening right now, Street Fighter action figures by Take Capo, two. <laughs> by Capo Toys is on Kickstarter right now, and the campaign ends October 25th, so if you want to go donate and check out all the stuff you can get in the campaign, now is the time. Really? They needed to put Street Fighter figures on Kickstarter? He's trying again. This is the second attempt. Wait a minute, they couldn't... How much are they asking for? A lot. $550,000. Whoa! That's you know what'll help? Money. Add some potato salad to it. <laughs> They'll raise money. Or a cooler. Put them in a cooler. And Put them in a, them cooler. in a cooler. With potato salad, you'll make your money. <laughs> at least at least 15 million. Forgot about the cooler. <laughs> How about us? Lumi by Max? It's a new DIY platform art toy on Indiegogo right now. Campaign ends September 20th. Awesome. Hmm. And we also have... Hasbro and Shapewaves have teamed up to offer a custom 3D prints of creations based on Hasbro's own content via superfanart.com so i guess you can go get this fan base created artwork in they've 3D. what they've what hasbro's done is they've instead of trying to like battle all of the people who are making bootleg <laughs> stuff 3d printing it uh-huh. let's say for example to, my little pony okay they've decided to start embracing it a little bit oh good and they've they've allowed i think five five or six five, maybe. five different artists they've said these artists are allowed to do it mm-hmm. and I think, I don't know if they're approving it or approving the models or anything like that, but mm. somehow Hasbro's letting these five artists make things and sell them on Shapeway. And if you want it, you can get a digital, you can get a download or, a, you know, a printout. Order it through Shapeways. As long as Hasbro Order. makes some money out of it. I don't know if Hasbro is making money or not. I don't. I, yeah, you know what? They must be. It I must be part of the deal. Superfanart.com, where you order it through Shapeways, I part think Hasbro Part of it Hasbro goes to Hasbro is, and part of it goes like, to the controls artist. that site. Yeah. Hmm. So if you want to pay a lot of money for <laughs> fan based prints, art printed things, then go for it. But it's a really interesting concept that maybe other companies could follow in the future. Yeah. Or maybe Hasbro can expand the kind of content that they're offering. It's interesting. I just for me, I, I just wonder for if who? printed for him. Stop. I just wonder if printed like when people start getting this thing and they put it on their shelf next to their real toy mm-hmm. and you have this 3d printed output that looks awful with build <laughs> lines and the well, paint looks terrible up. like it's no it's not it's their shapeways it's not like well there's different levels uh, that you can order at shapeways and here's another i would like it's to, just not there yet it's not the home it's not it's not a finished toy can when you i get blow it. your mind blow you my ready? mind are yes. you ready for your mind to be blown you know it hasn't happened yet i'm gonna do oh. it okay ready some people don't think that looks bad i know some that... people are just happy with having the thing Mind blown. It out and that's I know. okay. I know. Mind blown. I know. I understand that. It's okay. So it's just a different experience working with different materials. And I understand that. You know, to each hard. his own. But it's also it's hard to look at something like that as a finished finished project when somebody like you has been working for twenty but, years looking at a finished project, saying you know it has to be cleaned up more for production. There's also like you know you go to a museum and you look at a bronze and there's rough tool marks everywhere Absolutely. and they look amazing. I love that. It doesn't have to be a finished, polished sculpt. Right. So right. I'm fine with it. It's the new. It's the new bronze. Ooh. No, Ooh. no, it's not. 3D printing <laughs> is the new bronze. No. You heard you, it here you heard first. It here. No. George said it. No. George yeah. said it. Nope. George Hashtag quote. by George. There you go. Uh, no. Wait, how does Linda do it? <laughs> All right, blind box time. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> I want this one. I want this one. All right. Oh, that worked out well. <laughs> Today we have Dude Box Most Wanted. So we've opened a few of these before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are old. Um, these are from... Does Dude Box still exist? I think so. I think they do, yeah. Dudebox.com. That's good. Hey, look, there's Attaboy in here. I want... I want the big gorilla. Oh, that's the one I was going to say. Haha, ha, I beat you to it. I want the purple monkey face. I purple want Ben monkey. to get a gorilla so I could steal it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> he, can't, 
I can't want for somebody else. I'll take else. that guy with the big giant grin then, I guess. <laughs> okay. There's no names next to anybody, so I don't know who did any of them. Maybe the paper inside gives you a name. Yeah. Wait a minute. Does this give away what's yes, in here? It does. Yeah, I think it does. So which one did I get? You I'm got not the one look above the grin. So I'm I won't not look at my it. card. Did I get the one that you wanted? No. Oh. Ooh. Nice green little packaging. Doesn't smell like it. it smells cold. All right, so there it is. I got the uh, one by Ricardo Buccioni. Buccioni? Buccioni. Buccioni. Andreas Kramp? <laughs> Aliens doesn't say anything. Uh, mine is from Dust. Dust. Oh, that's funny. You see what yours is? Yeah, from? I know. So mine's like a... Prisoner? Guy in jail, like a... Uh -huh. Yeah, prisoner. Thank you. But look at the card. It stands up next to him so he can take his mugshot. Nice. Like... That's funny. Look, he's 60 millimeters high. Is it a sticker or anything? Nope. That's funny. Ah. I've never heard of this artist, but it's interesting. He's. I like the ears on that one. Yeah, he's based in Germany, because it's .de for his website. Ah. So. Oh. And it says, I love ice cream in the back. And That's... you do. I do. I do indeed. <laughs> um... Dudebox. Dudebox um, has been doing some good stuff. I think because they're going out on a limb and getting a few artists that people have never heard of, their platform is not taking off as quickly as they thought it would be. Uh, plus the fact that there's about a million and a half other platforms out there. It's hard to introduce a new platform toy now. Right. But... Um, Oh, in terms of like the production and stuff, it's clean. Yeah, look how clean these lines are. Very clean. Very well made. Ooh, awesome. These, like, yeah, like I mean, no smudges, nothing. When it meets up, it might have a little trouble by the seam, but... That's fine. Yeah. In like, general, they're so clean. It's so straight. Yeah, they look good. This one's... The print, all the printing's really nice on this. Oh, I kind of like your little guy. Yeah, it's fine. I like his little pig ears. So yeah, so it's like... I think their biggest thing is that they're introducing artists that people haven't heard of. But, you know, they have made stuff with Ron English. They've made stuff with Attaboy. Um, you know what, though? Just because we don't know who these people are doesn't mean yeah, somebody other people else know doesn't. Who they are. They're probably big wherever they are. Maybe. Maybe they're big in the U in. I mean, Europe. this guy looks like he's probably, I don't know, Italian or something. What's oh, that name? Oh, I look wish like? I had that guy. Bucciani? Bucci sure. I don't know. Like, so he, he's probably big wherever he's from. I like this blue guy. It's just cool blue. that they're introducing yeah. him worldwide. Like, it's, you know, the Dunny artist, no what? one knew who, what a Huck G was before he had. What is a Huck G? Dunny. So, G? like, you know, you got they got to be introduced somewhere. All right. Yeah, everybody's new at some point. So, good work. Yeah, good work, they're good, fun. Box. good quality stuff. Thank All you. Right, what's up first? Let's get to some reviews. Big box. This big one. box. Big box toy. Mm -hmm. Show us hell. what's in the box. Paperwork. We got paperwork. Oh. Um, oh, here we go. Okay. Am I pulling out all? There's a lot of things in here. Oh, I don't know what's in there. I haven't opened the box yet. Oh, oh my. You should probably have opened this. What, Why? What, what is this? I don't know. Well, let's see. Do you want to read We're that? opening it now. Grim Sheep. This is Grim Sheep. Oh. This is from Owen DeWitt and Happy Panda Toys. It's six inches tall, limited to 100 pieces. It's 50 bucks at happypandatoys.com. Ah, one of our sites. Sponsors. There's three different colors. So, yes, yeah, so uh, here I have more information on editions. So, each edition. Uh huh. Each trigger's label. So, uh, they sent us one of each. Uh, so, there's a hundred. Yeah, there's only a hundred each of these. So, all the heads on these are interchangeable with all the Grim Sheet bodies. Okay. Uh, oh, because and they come... mini money scale bodies by Kid Robot and six inch scale Mezit bodies from Mezco. It's kind of funny because I think it, each one comes with two heads. Yes. Out right now, having just released September 3rd, is the Tiger Edition. Which is? And uh, that one is that one, I the think. The first one with the Probably orange the kimono. George is pulling out. Okay. You have uh, the Skull Edition. Skull Edition, because it has skull like head. a skull head. That one's going to release November 8th. At uh, Decon. Ah! Hey, that's Decon. Yeah. So this is the kimono version out now. So that's the one you can get right now at Happy Panda Toys. If you want to check out, there's two heads, two swords, two guns, and tons of fun. I'm playing with it yet, but I'm assuming. There, interchangeable head. 
So it's cool that it's also interchangeable with mini money scale bodies and mezzets body in the six inch mezzets. Well, yeah, because now if you have a mini money, you have an extra guy, you can do your own painting and have two dudes. Well, that one comes with like a cat head. Yeah, look at how cool these are. Oh, I want to see the guns. Hey. <laughs> Here. There you go. Stolen. Ooh, I like that skull head. Karate cat. Done. Look at him. He's like on vacation. <laughs> Head on vacation. Hey, skull skeletons gotta take vacation too. Totem lamb. And then lamb, lamb totem. Lamb totem. Done. Oh look, they even have different colored eyes. The black one has brown eyes, and the gray one has blue eyes. Does your come? It's a nice little. Do they all come with guns and swords? Guns I think and so. Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one of the. So then the other edition we have over here is the panda edition, mm -hmm. which is going to release October first. Uh, also, again, all limited to 100 pieces each and $50 for the set. Should we save this one and do it in October then? Uh, we can, or we can just show off all the interchangeable heads and everything. Alright. I mean, it's pretty cool that you can interchange everything. That is pretty that neat. That one's like a Bruce Lee guy. Yeah. Bruce Lee sheep. I feel like we should save this Bruce one for the time me. when it's out. You want to wait? If you feel like waiting, we can wait. Yeah, we're going to wait and not show this one. You guys one can't look at that until next month, sorry. <sighs> So we're still doing this one early, but it's cool because it's coming out in decon. Well, not this one, the skeleton. Skull. Skull. With that Here, body. Let's. Trade seeds. Trade seeds. Done. You will not see me until November 8th. Komodo Done. cat. Oh. Komodo cat. Awesome. The printing's really nice on here. All the flowers are really straight. Yeah. Really clean. Paint job's really clean. I like that the swords are painted. Oh. No, I guess... Oh. Sorry. I guess the swords are are the same. Oh, I thought they were different. So, gun. For, for newbies so out there in the toy world, you may be asking, well, why release or why make three versions and then release them at later dates? Well, it all comes down to, you know, production 101, which is you have to make all the colors that you need to make at the same time with the factory. Right. To keep costs effective. And shipping. And shipping effective. All costs. All costs effective. So that's why we have and why the you know producer has all the um, versions right now because you need to produce them at the same time, but you know, release them one at a time, have you know, build an audience, build a collector base, sell out of one hopefully before you release the next one. And um, then keep going and these are also super limited at 100 pieces each. Yeah, that's really limited. All right, so this guy who's coming out at DesignerCon, there's actually going to be two versions available nice. at DesignerCon. Uh, there will also be the blank edition, Ooh. which comes with a glossy white body, a glossy grim sheep head, an orange tiger head, and the two white swords and two white guns. Uh, again, 100 pieces available, and there will be a golden ticket in that set of the DIYs Golden ticket. that can be redeemed for a hand-painted custom Grim Sheep oh. by the one and only Grim Sheep. Grim Sheep. So there will also be at Decon uh, custom, customs of these. Nice. Which is pretty cool. So lots of different stuff coming out from Happy Panda Toys. Happy Panda. Which one was the one that's out right now? That one. That one. Does he have the black head or the gray head? <laughs> Hold on. Anybody remember? <laughs> he had the gray. Gray, gray and cat. Yeah. And then black and skull. I really there. like this guy. I like the look of it. Who did the skull? Did this say? I'm not sure who did the skull. I would kind of assume Owen DeWitt. Owen Grimsheep DeWitt. But those just say designed by. I don't know. There can only be one. Looks like it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bullets. Um, yeah, it's cool. The I, alternate cat head is... Very cool. Nice, but I, like I, the cat I really like the sheep one. So only 100 pieces and only 50 bucks. Yeah. Not bad. And you're getting kind of two, to well, a toy and a half out of it because if you take a mini mo or a money body mm -hmm. or one of the mezzets, you could put your other head on there you kinda and need, display it. You kind of just need to buy two. So you right? really kind of need to spend 100. Cause you, but you, which head do you get? Now you have four heads if you buy two. And four heads are better than one. Well, no, because this one's not out of here. This one's, <laughs> not, nice. this one's not out yet. Right? Right. So you got to buy two of the first one and then display both figures. Okay. Because, like, this kind of looks awesome. And then, but this kind of really looks awesome, too. Uh-huh. Ooh. Pokey. 
So, like, you kind of want both of them hanging on your shelf. I like him with the skull head. Yeah, he looks great. Not that there's anything wrong with that head, but that skull and head. And I kind of like the black head on this better. Really? I kind of like the gray head. Look at how cool these are, you guys. And they don't have, like, they have a vinyl smell, but it's not super strong. Yeah. It's kind of pleasant. I dig. It's super bendy, so it's... Boink. Won't hurt you. But all the paint looks clean. Karate cat. I like the interchangeable head system. This I is what I would consider sort of the definition of a vinyl, like a designer toy. There it is. Don't hey, you think? Hey. The wrist articulated. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. It's made very much with design hey. into it. You know, it's not an action figure. I, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe a designer toy. But you know it when you see it. Yeah. You know? This follows it to it. Shuno. Shuno. So anyway, Shuno. go to happypandatoys.com. You can buy this guy right now and watch for more coming October 1st and November 8th at DesignerCon. Done. So we will have more on again. And thank you to Happy Panda more Toys for sending some our way. Awesome. All right. What else do we have in our bag of tricks? Hmm. Bag of tricks. Toy bag of tricks. George, what do we got? What's what up? We got? Oh. How about those? How about these things? Oh. You know what these are, Ben? These are. These are Matt L's. They are. And are they the 10th anniversary? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> 10th anniversary Matt L's. These are the set of the black and white version celebrating the 10th anniversary. Each set is limited to 100 pieces. And they are going for $50. And you can get them at Mad. ToyStore.com. Is it fifty dollars for the set or fifty dollars each? I believe it's fifty dollars for the set. Fifty really? dollars yeah. for it? the set. Yeah. Yeah, about twenty-five bucks each figure. That that makes sense. Huh. That's cool. Awesome. Ten year edition. There it is. You know what's funny about ten year edition? What? So October. Well, I'm uh -huh. glad you asked. October Toys is also celebrating their tenth year. I didn't realize it was the same ten year anniversary. Whoa! Mind blown. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> We just did that in prompt. I know. I was here. Did you I see unfortunately it? witnessed it. This is like you're amazed, right? The episode of super clean paint. Look at how freaking crisp all of these. Ridiculous. I. I like that. Would you like to see this on the back? Look yeah, at that. Yeah, that's good. Awesome. <laughs> I don't Black see. Them. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't see a single smudge. Like not even like a hint of smudge. I like the bags that they come in. Yeah, these are nice. Like thick canvas bags? Yeah, these are great. You could crush a Jewish glass at a wedding in that. <laughs> <laughs> a little too late. Seems like it would be safe, right? It would be. It would be really safe in this, actually. Kids, get your parents' permission first before crushing glasses. There you go. <laughs> Just don't crush things. Uh, yeah, these are great. Give me that. I want to see it again. Only 100, uh, only 100 sets? Only 100 sets, and I like that, they did, that he did the... Like Black and almost, white. I would almost call it like an X-ray version. Yeah. Because they're like opposite each other. There's a crown on top. Inverted. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, these are gonna sell fast. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, these it's are good. It's so funny. The copyright says 2007. Oh, that's funny. Which one? Here's a funny question. So these come as a set. Does one of them stand out more to you? Like, I think, for me, the black one. Oh, really? Yeah. That's so funny because I don't usually go for white toys, but I love how. The white one looks because it looks like ink splats on it. Oh yeah, that's true. I like how I the like... white pops on the black one. That's why. That one reminds me of a chalkboard. Oh yeah. Which I also like. Yeah. Cool, right? Very cool. All right. I dig. Matt L. Check it. Check it out, guys. Check. All right. This one we've been saving. I've wanted to put it on for a while now, but I was waiting for Ben. Oh. To be done being busy. Oh. And be back on the couch. Let's do it. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we have? Gimme. <laughs> do I even need to explain this one? Do I really need to like Well let's bring it back over and tell tell the fine folks at home about what a cat bug is. I'm cat bug. Well, Funny enough, you did that. We don't have to do that because it'll talk for us. What? 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 Ugh. This is amazing. So, so where is this from? How much is it, Ben? This is from the Internet T 
TV sensation, or actually just internet, not TV. Sensation. Uh, from The Bravest Warriors. Um, you can watch this on YouTube. Yes. And it's the same person that does... Um... Oh my god. What's the other show that... Adventure Time? Yes, Adventure Time. So if you like Adventure Time, you're going to love Bravest Warriors. Like a dog toy. And somewhere in the middle of season one, you are introduced to this guy right here, Catbug. And he's actually voiced by a six-year-old. Okay! And he's... Might remember previous Catbugs. Oh, he's so incredible. Does he talk? What? Catbug. Shake him. I'm Catbug! I love it. Do it again. Yes. Why are we running? I know. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Oh my God! This is so great. This is so great. This is so. Did I mention how great it is? Do it again. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. One more. You're my friends now. You're my friends now. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> that one. <laughs> That one got a little muffled I in the recording. You. This is so awesome. So All right. It's eight and a half inches. It's a talking vinyl figure. Oh my god. It doesn't do anything else. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't do anything else. There's no articulation. It doesn't need to. It doesn't crawl. It doesn't walk. It doesn't <laughs> light up. Although the eyes kind of look like they might glow. Something lit up a little bit when I. What? I think it lit up. Or Wait, something. where's the box? Does it light up? Did it light up? Whoa! Maybe it was just a reflection I saw. You're my friends now. Yeah, maybe it doesn't like that. This is a creepy decapitated cat bug. Cat bug. Oh no, poor cat bug. What's in there? What is that? It's a cat bug. I think it is a bug. Is there an actual bug? What is that? China bug. I think there's a China bug in our cat bug. Drop him! Okay! I'm a cat bug. What's yours? I'm a so this guy goes for 40 bucks at We Love Fine. And there's also other versions of Catbug and the Bravest Warriors. There's like bendy figures. I and, think we've uh, had the bendies on. Yeah, I think we, we have. had the bendies on. There's also bobbleheads. Oh, bobbleheads too, yeah. So it's pretty cool. Oh, they got the gas-powered stick guy. Gas-powered stick. Uh, you guys got to watch the car. If, if you guys haven't seen it, go, go see it. And then you're going to fall in love with Catbug and you're going to want like... 30 of these. Mm -hmm. Is that it's what you amazing. Did? Well, just one. Are you yeah. going to dress up as Catbug Halloween? I'm just going to... Why are we running? Shh, Catbug, be quiet. Why would you do that? I don't know. Just be quiet. I'm going to take you... I know. I'm going to take you home. Shh. <laughs> I know I'm your friend. <laughs> Where did Catbug go? Where? Nowhere. There wasn't any Catbug. I don't know what Catbug is, even. So, you approve of Catbug? I totally approve of Catbug. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we approve some of the events that are coming up soon. Let's, let's do it. All right, right around the corner-ish, hmm. Monster Color Paint Class. I so totally wish I was in Massachusetts to go to this. Let's go. You can join Monster Color to paint your own. This time around, it's a Max Toy Company Izon figure. It's $120 for the, that covers everything, the, the figure and your paints and the time and the going to the class and the whole thing. Uh, it's in Mil Middleborough, Massachusetts on Saturday, September 27th. <coughs> you can check out more at monstercolorstore.com. Super cool. I nice. Like their stuff. I dig. Yeah, me too. Also, that same weekend, if you're on our coast, the West Coast. Long Beach Comic Con. Dun, dun, dun. A celebration of comic books and popular culture at the Long Beach Convention Center in Long Beach, California. Long Beach, September 27th and 28th. LongBeachComicCon.com. Long, Beach. Beach. Long, Long Beach. Beach. <laughs> Long Beach. Not Short Beach. Long Beach. Long Beach. Baby Tattooville! <laughs> Join dozens, that's right, dozens of artists for an exclusive one-of-a-kind weekend at the Mission Inn in Riverside, California, October 3rd through the 5th. You can go to babytattooville.com for more information. And I think there's, uh, there's a few spots still available. I think so. And I have been going to Baby Tattooville now for six, six many, years. Many moons. 
Yeah, I think like six and years. You have a good time every time. I have a great time every time, and um, the lineup of artists is always amazing. And the best part, of course, is at the end of it all, you get an amazing goodie bag. Amazing. And believe me when I tell you that even though the event is expensive, the products and everything that you get out of the event is totally worth it. You get 10 times what you spend on the event so and on top of the products that price that you pay is also paying for your room and board yes it pays for everything that's involved the only thing yeah. they don't they don't cover transportation to the hotel right you need to get there yourself and um it's great every year it's it's something amazing happens and uh bob self who owns baby tattoo is in charge and he puts this event on and he does a great job every year so if you haven't done it and you're really into art, and you're really into the lineup of artists that are coming this year, highly recommend it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Also happening that same weekend, not in Riverside, California, this mm. one is BrickCon. You can check out thousands of Lego models on display at the Seattle Center in Seattle, Washington, mm. October 4th and 5th, BrickCon.org. Uh, if you want to go to the actual, like the AFOL, the adult fan of Lego convention part of it, you it's actually, me? you heard me. It's actually the 3rd, 4th, and 5th, but the public days are the 4th and 5th, and I, it's like 15 or 20 bucks to get in, yeah, okay. and it's a big haul. It's probably about half the size of what Decon has been. Has been? Probably. I, I don't really know the square footage exactly. It's probably 25,000, 30,000, 35,000 square feet, something like that, but just tons of Lego models. 25,000 square oh, feet. Yeah, fill it with Lego models. That's a lot of Lego. Yeah, how small those bricks are. Whoa. <laughs> It's true. But it's pretty cool. If you're in the area, I highly recommend it. Uh, I will not be there this year, but it's probably going to be awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> He's not going to be there either. Oh, poor oh, Hugh. It's too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. And that, my dearest friends, <laughs> is it for episode 323. Wow. 323. <sighs> like the area code. Like the area code. <laughs> for people that live in L.A., everybody else just doesn't know about it. <laughs> So, you can check the show notes at toybreak.com for links to everything we talk about. You can watch past episodes. You can join the contests and the discussions in the forum or on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can help out the show by clicking on the Amazon link before you shop. You could also, if you're not near toybreak.com, mm -hmm. virtually for some reason, you could type in amazon.toybreak.com and that will take you to really? the Amazon link. Ooh, I'm going to just start doing that. Fancy, eh? Yeah, oh. I like it. I like it. Just bookmark that link, amazon.toybreak.com. Hooray! Love it. New homepage. You can uh, <laughs> You can also call and leave us a... boring homepage ever. <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> a voicemail at 818-AM-I-GOOD. You can email us, info at toybreak.com. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak. You can check out our toy briefs, our toy girls, and our full episodes at youtube.com slash toybreak. You can follow us on Twitter at toybreak. You can follow me on Twitter at and Instagram, I'm at Aileen Gaspar. At George Gaspar. And at 3D Retro. Hooray! Huzzah. Uh, is that it? Do we? Does anybody have anything else for this week? <laughs> Congratulations, Ben. Congratulations, Ben. Congratulations. Our condolences, Me. Victoria. Uh, she doesn't know the half of it. <laughs> yeah, she does. I guess she does. <laughs> she, kn she knows what she signed up for. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Let the adventure begin. Or continue. Or continue, actually. I think it's a continue. Oh, yeah. Aww. Totally. Congratulations, Faye. Took you 313 episodes of Toy Break to get married. Wow. Since, we, since we've known you, at least. That's no, true. that's true, though. Yeah. Ben was on episode 10 of Toy Break, you guys. Wow. Episode 10. <laughs> yeah. That was 2007. Oh my god. Long time. Long now I feel old. <laughs> so, All right, let's end this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Episode 323! Thanks for staying with us, everybody. We will see you next week. Same toy time, same toy channel, right here. Maybe with this guy, even. <laughs>